All right. Hopefully we'll have a moment's peace. This is going to be a very, very short lecture. It's lecture one. And I just want to say a word or two about what the course is about. So basically this course is going to study uh, classical, well, mostly classical, I suppose, um, differential geometry. Now what we're mostly interested in studying curves and surfaces, um, mostly in the context of R3, but we will have some things to say about the larger world of Rn. Um, so that's what we're after. We'd like to figure out when are two curves the same, um, like congruent perhaps in the sense of high school geometry, or, or when can you have two surfaces and, and when are they actually the same surface, perhaps just written in in, in different coordinate systems, right? Like uh, once they have the same shape and perhaps we just have a different looking equation, but in fact it's really the same surface. So that's kind of the question, one of the fundamental questions we'd like to understand. We'd like to also understand, you know, a little bit more about what's known as the intrinsic geometry of surfaces. That's another thing we're interested in. Um, ultimately we'll prove Gauss's awesome theorem about the intrinsic curvature, the fact that the uh, the curvature of the surface, the Gaussian curvature, is intrinsic to the surface. But we'll also study s some other things which are, which are tied to uh, the surface being embedded in R3, the mean curvature. Other things are, are consequences of where the surface is sitting, they're not intrinsic. Um, that leads us to the study of later, a lot later, uh, what's called manifold theory. Manifold. A manifold is simply an abstract set, essentially, where you can do calculus. And so we're going to look at those later. Um, basically, locally, this looks like Rn, um, if you kind of zoom in close enough. and so, But that's, that's not even quite the right picture. Uh, uh, you know, I, 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 when I write something like this, I think of that as being the tangent space, the manifold. We'll talk all about talk a lot about tangent spaces and cotangent spaces and all the sorts of objects you can define in these things, vector fields, differential forms, all, all sorts of things. But we're not going to be too abstract, all right? So we're mostly working on the manifold, or, and, and typically our manifold is just going to be a surface or for the start uh, curve in, in um, R3 or perhaps Rn. And we're going to say what we can about, most of our focus is down here, right? So you study manifolds in a more abstract context, you're your focus might then be on things called fiber bundles and more more abstract topological notions, but we're going to be mostly focused on the linear algebra of these constructions in this course. Um, so that's kind of where we're going. Curves, it's about the fernay soray equations, and the surfaces we'll, we'll be following. Oh, yes, so what books we're using? We're using Elementary Differential Geometry by uh, Barrett O'Neill's great classic book. This is the revised second edition. Um, as you hopefully can see, let me see here, yeah. And um, also to add a little n-dimensional flair, I'll be also doing some things with this differential geometry and uh, curves and surfaces, second edition of Wolfgang uh, Kunnel's book. Uh, it's a translation of a German book, it's great, just great book. I'm enjoying that. So I'm going to try to synthesize those two things and add my own thoughts. That's where we're going. Um, in terms of prerequisites, uh, if you're going to study this, um, now, basically, you must you must know something about linear algebra. Um, I suppose you don't need to know everything about it, but the more you know, the better. Um, and I would say also calculus three, multivariate calculus. Um, you need to know how to take partial derivatives. You need to know what they mean. Um, you also need to know a little bit about how to parameterize curves, and um, you know. Hopefully you've seen a surface because you've studied surface integrals before. Um, so some obviously experience with multivariate calculus is so important. Um, but I will say this, um, I'll be using some advanced calculus in this course. And advanced calculus, when I talk, and I don't mean, some people will say advanced calculus, they really mean what you might call real analysis. Um, when I say advanced calculus, what I'm really talking about is the um, implicit inverse function theorems and just sort of a perspective on how to work with differential forms and vector fields in Rn. Those are the things I cover in my quote-unquote advanced calculus course. But it's not, you didn't have to take that course before you took this, but obviously if you had taken it, some of these things will make more sense. 
On the flip side, if you study this course first and then take advanced calculus second, then that will make more sense. So whatever, whatever works better for your schedule should be okay. Uh, we'll find out whether or not that claim is reasonable as we go on here. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say for the first lecture, basically using these two books. I'm going to try to synthesize it, and I'm hoping this format works. Anyway, thank you.